yeah, I had a client today chose to leave the mask on. I said, I'm happy to put my mask back on if you would like me to. And she said, no, no, no. Yeah. It, it's, she said, I have a, a compromised immune system and I would mm -hmm. prefer not to not to get it. I don't care what other people do. Yeah. And most people though, that I, that come into the salon, they're happy to wear the mask if that's necessary. Yeah. Um, I have not been anywhere today without a, without a mask. I just came here, so yeah. I haven't had a mask on today. But I've yeah. been in my own place of business. Right. Yeah. Um. Did you ever ever through the, the course of the pandemic have clients who wanted their hair cut, but absolutely did not want to mask up or just kind of subtly didn't when they were in your chair was that common i i there were clients that came in here yes that didn't want to have to wear a mask um and i left that up to the discretion of their stylist i also it made it known that if they wanted to come in here without a mask on they had to be here by themselves and if their stylist was okay with it then that was that was that was their decision not mine yes um i didn't have anybody flat out refuse to come in without a mask on maybe one time and i asked her to leave she was somebody yeah. that was never a client here at the salon she was a gotcha. new person gotcha. and i just said you know you're gonna have to go if you yeah. don't want to put a mask on makes, makes yeah. Really yeah so i mean i think it's certainly this is the day we've all been waiting for and it feels um one step closer to the land of hope um and you know this is all part of the end game that um to get to the other side of this pandemic mm -hmm. um but i think definitely there's the nervous feelings of gosh you know will it be one step forward two steps back in yeah. the future yeah um but i think all things are really pointing in the the, mm -hmm. the positive right direction mm -hmm.